Thanks. Okay, hey guys, uh, thanks for joining us here today. Uh, what I'm going to be making is a personal meatloaf. I've been watching this other YouTuber, this uh, Mama Sherry. She's like in England, but she's Southern, I believe. Uh, she was on apparently Kitchen Nightmares years ago. I saw the episode, it was really good. But uh, she was making meatloafs the other day. She made personal meatloafs. And it just never dawned on me before how good an idea that was. Instead of like doing it in a loaf pan and everybody getting all messed up, like, you will see. It was, it was great. Okay, so what we're going to start out with, I have a, a pound of hamburger here. I have two eggs. A chopped up onion. We're going to be adding Worcester sauce, salt, and pepper. And we're going to be adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Okay, so let's... Okay, so here we have the hamburger. And we're going to add two eggs to that. And we're going to throw in our onion. I'd say about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Love my Parmesan. Good healthy dose of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. And a healthy amount of pepper. I would say... Oh God. I like pepper. So I'm putting about that much. But you put it into taste. And of course, our good friend salt. Now what we do is we smush all this up don't be afraid to get in there with your hands get you want to make sure everything's mixed you want to get that cheese through everything mm, I just love that nice pink of the meat okay Now this is where it gets interesting. Instead of slopping all this in a loaf pan, we take it and we have ourselves a nice baking dish. And we figure out a nice serving size. And we do it up just like a giant meatball. See? And we put that there. And we do another one, roughly the same size. We put that there. Should get about three of them out of this one. Maybe a pinch more to this one. Know, we can get a fourth one out here. Like, I saw her doing this up, and I was like, oh my god, why didn't I ever think of this? Now, these are going to shrink a bit, so it's okay if they touch just a pinch. <clears throat> what we do here is we put this in a 350 oven for about an hour, and we'll fast forward to that bit. And here we have the finished product. As you can see, we have the four individual portions of meatloaf, without having to worry about the fuss and bother of, like, a loaf pan. I am blown away, and thank you, Mama Cherry, for that one, because, honestly, I it's so simple, but it's an awesome tip that I should have been doing all along. So, if you liked the video, thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to share, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.